Hey, a pleasure and good day, everyone. This is just going to be a quick preview of our 3 5 and 1 Eagles against the 6 and 3 Brown. I personally don't think this week is going to go too well for a Philadelphia Eagles. The Browns are 4 and 1 at home and 2 and 1 on the road. The Eagles have a 500 record along with a tie at home at 2 2 and 1 and have been 1 and 3, very abysmal on the road. And that is going to play today. I think Baker Mayfield has kind of figured himself out this year and has put together a decent season of 15 and 7 to an exactly 90 rating and uh, a little bit over 1,600 yards. Wentz has the yardage over Baker Mayfield, but has close to doubled him um, in interceptions and has doubled him in turnovers. Um, he has 12 interceptions and about four or five more total turnovers to go with that. So I think the big thing here is in order for the Eagles to have a chance to win this game, Carson Wentz has got to protect the ball with his life. He has actually has way more than just four. He has nine fumbles this year. He has 12 interceptions and nine fumbles. So that is way too much. That's 20 total. Uh, you cannot have that happen as a franchise quarterback and as one of the better pay quarterbacks in the league. So Carson, the O-line needs to sharpen it up to get a lot of less pressure. But Wentz also still, to this point of his career, hasn't figured out a way to fully secure and hold on to the ball. And that is going to be big against going up against the Browns, who have about, or both of our defenses rank exactly middle of the league. Uh, ours is 14th, the Philadelphia Eagles is the Cleveland Browns, is 15th. Uh, the Eagles' defense is very good in passing, in limiting passing yards, um, or not limiting passing yards, but in terms of being ranked, in terms of passing yardage defense at 6, which allowing 211.8. The Browns allow 252.2, which is also down, all the way down at 21st. But then you flip that. With the rushing yards, the Eagles are ranked 26, allowing 133 yards. The Browns allow 104.9 yards, ranked 8th. The Eagles can't really get the rushing game going usually, and they really are going to need to get their passing game going against Cleveland, which is where you can exploit Cleveland's defense. And Wentz is going to have to be more and more consistent, and our other wide receivers that are not Travis Fulgham are going to have to be more and more consistent to be able to get consistently open so that we can generate some offense here. You're also going to need to have a rushing game. That's what's been holding the Eagles back all year, having the inability of a rushing game in mostly every single game. You can't run an offense just based off of passing, especially when your quarterback has 20 turnovers and has not been having his tippy toppiest season of any realm, to, to say the least. So... For this game, I think it's going to be a very big struggle. The Browns, of course, won their last game. We're coming off of a bad loss, and the Browns are four and one on home. I think they're going to go to five and one at home. Unfortunately, I just don't see the Eagles being able to beat the six and three Browns, who have been consistently a fighter and a very solid AFC team in the league this year, where the Eagles have been the exact opposite of that of an NFC team. So. This game has only about a 2.5 spread. I think that's the line because it's the Browns, honestly. Still, they're still trying to see if this is for real or not, even though they're 6-3. and three. So, I do think the Browns are going to be able to win this game. And I can say this since we give out our picks free on Patreon now, too, as I said to our Patreons. And it will, I believe, go over the 46 total. This is, again, two defenses that are ranked middle of the pack. So I think there will be scoring in this game. But because of the Eagles' inability to close out games and avoid having those key turnovers, I think this game will go to Cleveland. The way the Eagles can win this game is if they flip the script. They get Baker to play like he played in the first couple weeks of the season, and he's the one making all those key and big turnovers instead of the Eagles and then the Eagles are the ones stepping up big on defense instead of the Browns, like the Browns have done time and time and again this year, to be able to get them to that 6-3 and three record. So that's the way the Eagles win this game to flip the script. I just personally don't see it happening. And <clears throat> I personally think that they are going to lose this game 28-21, to 
which would give it a total of 49 points and put you over that 46 total. I think they're going to lose by one touchdown. I think the score will be 28-21, to 21 and the Browns will get the win on that. So this has been a preview to the Eagles and Browns for Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Borick. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everyone. Enjoy your Sunday. Peace out.